it's hard on May 11th to see the revelation of your schedule and be like, I really feel like we came away with a good schedule. You kind of already know who you're going to get. Like, maybe you can look at one game. Oh, it's nice to have a bye week. But you can certainly look at it and be like, dude, we got totally boned by the NFL. And if I was a Giants fan, I'd be pretty livid that I have three away games in, in a row. Without, if It would kind of make up for itself if, you know, they had three home games in a row later. But they just straight up got three away, three away games in a row. I'd be kind of pissed off. But... Um, I'm pretty bullish. Like, I, I think they got a pretty good schedule. Like, um, to start off, I got them going three and one. Dallas game gonna be tough, you know, division game. Um, Sunday night football, all, all, all that goes with that. But um, I think they got a better squad than Dallas. Um, to be honest, Arizona is gonna be easy. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm not, I'm not high on them at all. Um, San Francisco gonna be a tough one. I, I got them losing, you know, on a short week, and you know, having to travel all the way to San Francisco. Plus the game being on Thursday night football, I feel like that's one that you're like, that's a tough one. Um, I really, I'm, I really hope they get a, do away with Thursday night football sooner than later. But I, you got to feel like it's here to stay at this point. There's been backlash about it. Apparently now they want to give teams, you know, more than one Thursday night football game, which I, I really don't know how the CBA didn't kind of or the NFLPA didn't veto this. There's got to be some kind of monetary incentive for them to play i mean i'm talking about the players like i understand why the league likes it but the players and the coaches hate it so the fact that it's still been around i it's it's kind of crazy but um yeah then you come back uh seattle you got a little more rest for that one seattle tough team but i mean seattle's got to travel all the way from from um you know washington to new york so that's something to consider i think but um yeah, I, I like them in that one. You know, the Giants got a longer rest. Seattle's a tough team. I, I still think the Giants have a better roster. Um, Miami, I this is kind of a tough stretch for them. And normally I would give them the Jets game. You know, me being a Jets fan, I'm a bit biased. But I was I was really about to give them the Jets game. But the Jets got a bye before. So I, I think just... I think it'll be a tough one, that one. But um, yeah, my, going to Miami's tough. Going to Buffalo's tough got them losing those Washington you know home against Washington I, I they, they like I mean you look at this schedule like they got three away games in a row like I'm just looking ahead after these three games and then they don't even got it like why would they not put the bye week like I really feel like the Giants got boned by this but um like they are really running the gauntlet like they're running a marathon here week 13 bye and three away games like in a row that's 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 that sucks. That's awful. But um, yeah, I, I got the beating Washington. Washington's gonna be good this year. They just don't got a quarterback. I, I feel I feel more confident in the Giants' quarterback. Um, and, and with Daniel Jones, obviously. So, uh, got them four and four entering Week Nine. Maybe not what you'd want as a Giants fan after last year, but they got a tough. They got a, It's a tough schedule for sure. Um. Going to Vegas, I got them winning. Uh, I kind of went off about – I didn't go off about Vegas in my last video, but I, I, I'm not really sure what they are at this point in time. I, I think they're better. Um, the Giants are better than, than Vegas is. Uh, you know, hard to beat an interdivision opponent twice, especially one as good as Dallas, so I got them losing the Week 10 matchup. Uh, I'm giving them Washington twice. I got them sweeping the season series against Washington like – I know it's so easy to just look at the quarterbacks and then, you know, give a team a win based off of that. And I understand how much more goes into that. Like, I really do like Washington's defense. In my heart of hearts, I do. I mean, they had a top three defense last year, and they addressed, you know, they got a number one corner in the draft with Emmanuel Forbes. So I think the defense is going to be great. It's just like they got the playmakers. I don't think they have a distributor, you know. Like, who cares if you got playmakers if you can't, you know, get them the ball, so. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I think Washington will be a fun team to watch this year. I got the Giants sweeping them. Um, New England, yeah, tough team. It's a home game. Um, I, I just think the Giants are better than them. N th that's another team I think will be better. Like, yeah, Mac Jones sucked last year. I, I don't know who would be good with Matt Patricia calling plays. So to go to Bill O'Brien, that that honestly is bigger than any personnel upgrade they could have made this offseason was, you know, now you have an actual offensive quarter coordinator calling plays and a defensive coordinator. I don't know what the hell Bill was thinking, but, you know, I don't question genius because you can't really call him anything else. But 
uh, should be a good one. I think that's that's definitely a, a game they win. So then going to the bye week, you know, finally week three, you're, you're like limping to the bye week. Like that's the thing that that Washington game is huge because I haven't looked at Washington's buys, but you're coming off two away games in a row. Then you got to go on the road again, again. And, you know, before that you play the Jets who are supposed to be better this year. Buffalo, who's a good team. Miami is a good team. Like, that that Washington game is going to be tough. Like they they really uh, it's, it's not the Giants' fault. You know it's, they got just killed by the schedule maker. I feel bad, but I don't feel bad. But um, you know it's just kind of the nature of the business. But um, then week fourteen you got the Green Bay Packers on Monday Night Football coming off the bye. I, I don't think we'll see what Green Bay is. I think you'll have a better idea of how good Jordan Love is by week fourteen. But you know as of right now. I think they got a better roster. New England, um, New Orleans, another team should be better. They got an actual quarterback now. I just don't think they're that good either. Uh, Philly, not a whole lot to be said about them. You know how good they are. Yeah, you know, beating them on the road's tough. Uh, Rams, another team. I don't really think they'll be that all that. Week eighteen, this game probably won't matter, but um, I'll, I'll, I gave it to the Giants. So I got them going eleven and six. Um, out of the losses that I gave them, the ones that are winnable, I think they're all winnable. The San Francisco one, I'm not feeling good about for the Giants. I think that one you can kind of chalk up to a loss already. But besides that, like, definitely could see them, you know, beating Miami. Uh, definitely could see them beating Buffalo. Definitely could see them beating Dallas, you know, on the road. Definitely could see them beating Philly on the road. That one's kind of tough. But, I mean, I, I think the only one that if I was going to put money on right now that they would lose would be the San Francisco one. Um Jets one will be tough again, like I said. Jets coming off a of bye week, and you know that it's a home game, but it's not. It's a neutral site game, really. So kind of have to throw that out the window. Um, you know, although they'll have more fans there, but yeah. So I got them, and out of the wins that I gave them, the ones that I could see them kind of struggling with a little bit. Week one will be tough. You know, Dallas again just being uh, in her division. Both Washington games will be tough, especially the second one. Like I said, that's going to be a that's a tough one. Um, after that, you know, yeah, the Philly home, ga- the Philly home game will be tough just because it's Philly. But I mean, you got to feel like New Orleans is not a must-win, but that's a team you should beat. New Orleans, um, LA is a team you should beat. The Raiders, I think that's a team they definitely should beat. Um, so I, I, I got yeah, eleven and six, maybe a thirteen and four floor, and uh, f- or a thirteen and four ceiling. It's kind of hard to see them getting to fourteen wins. I think. Just with the schedule, like three away games, like I, I, I keep saying it, but it's tough. And but yeah, I think eleven and six, you should be happy with. Um, maybe have the bar a bit higher, like them coming off a playoff win. You kind of want to see them get a bit further, but they got a good team. Eleven and six, I, I don't think I'd be upset with. Again, I'm a Jets fan, and I've lived through way worse than eleven and six. I mean. You know, I just did my Jets video. I said I would kill for an eleven and six season, or not kill, but I would be perfectly content with the Jets going eleven and six. Maybe the bar is a bit higher for the Giants as it should be, them coming off a playoff win. And you know, they already got uh, two playoff games of experience under the belt. Again, this is not a postseason prediction. This is how I think the regular season will go. So what, eleven and six probably finish them around yeah second in the division, probably the first wild card, right? So. Yeah, like you would want to see him maybe climb up the division a little bit. You just got like a juggernaut in Philadelphia. I don't think anybody in, in, in Giants land is is really expecting them to be better than the Eagles next year. And, you know, maybe you are, but um, maybe you should be tested as well for, for like cocaine or something because they got a hell of a team, uh, Philly does. Um, thank God they're not in my division. As good as the Bills are, they don't show up in playoff games. And, you know, I I, I don't know, like – Maybe that's an unfair assessment to the Bills. And again, you know, I'm not. This is a Giants video, so I don't know why I'm talking about the Bills. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the season. I'm uh, glad I get to talk about Giants football now, even though you know there's really no, nothing of note to go on in football until what, like training camp, you know, which doesn't start till what August, July. So it's gonna be a tough June. Not gonna be a whole lot of football content to do, but I'll try to find a way to do it and. Yeah, looking forward to the season.